Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's NHL slate. Um, and we're going to use the process that we always use, I haven't been around for a few days, um, where we're going to take a look at the team totals, then we're going to take a look at our sheets, and then we're going to attempt to build a hand-built lineup. And then we're going to use Saberson to build more MME-style lineups using both uh, Saber score as well as, uh, as the contest sims. And again, I just want to continue to develop this process and share with you tweaks as I come up with them to give you guys kind of a roadmap for how to play NHL. Um, yes, uh, for this slate, but, but more important for future slates. So um, let's first, again, this is, again, I'm not saying this is perfect, but this is what I do. And I want to be very transparent and share with you what I do, which has been very successful. So... Um, let's take a look at team totals first. We, we see that Dallas with an implied goals of 3.7, uh, Colorado 3.4, Buffalo 3.5. Those are the top ones. So we're, we would expect to see some good fantasy projections out of those three teams. Not always, but, but usually. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the sheets now. Now, again, what we're looking at is just kind of my rankings um, we see uh, salary, fantasy points, points per dollar, then this little sheets value score in the middle. And that is my way of rating guys um, using a combination of both uh, points per dollar and raw fantasy points. And what I like to do, and again, I do this only with hockey. It's really weird. But what I like to do with hockey is just kind of take a look at this page and just try to eyeball and say, okay, are there guys rated near the top that are on the same team? If there are guys rated on the top, not near the top, on the same team, are they on the same line? And if the answer to those questions are yes, then those are probably guys we want to play. And I know that there's more to it, and we have to factor in ownership and all this other stuff. But I think going back to basics for hockey is always, you know, it's usually a very, very good idea. So when I pull this up, Here's the first thing that I notice. The first thing that I see are these cheapos. Like I see Dylan Cozen at 4,300 rated near the top. So the other thing I look at is if that's the case, is there anybody around here that's on his line? And while Jeff Skinner is not on his regular strength line, he is on his power play line. And Tage Thompson, even though he's not on the same even strength line, line is on the power play line. So this is going to be a pretty good place to start is to build maybe a Buffalo power play stack. And that would include Sage, Tage Thompson, Jeff Skinner, Dylan Cozens, and then we got to find the other guy from that first line. That would be Casey Middlestat. Now you'll notice also that Casey Middlestat is 4,500. So this is a very, very strong way to play just staring at this for five seconds. Um, the other thing I noticed that Jason Robertson is the top projected guy but it takes getting down to here, Jamie Ben, to get the next one. And likewise, it's just going to be a power play stack because he's on the third regular strength line, on the first power play line. And Matt Duchesne is on the second even strength line and the first power play line. But I think that these three rate close enough where you can consider that. Um, and then you have uh, Heskinen on the power play line. And Wyatt Johnson is on the first even strength line, but no, only on the second power play line. So I think those are the two main teams that you're going to want to you want to stack here is try to play a Buffalo or a Dallas. But then you see Colorado, where you have McKinnon, Rantanen. They're kind of you know the top two, but you go down to Nizhushkin to see get the third guy. So there are three main teams that I think you can play. And I think you should be able to get to all of them pretty easily, but whatever. So what I want to do is I want to build three different stacks here with you guys, three different lineups. Um, one with Dallas, one with Buffalo, and one with um, Colorado. And maybe we can um, we can uh, play them all. And then you'll see also, by the way, that the next online is probably Arizona. And they're pretty cheap. So it's a pretty easy slate to look at, and you're probably going to be able to, to play who you want to play. Let's just take a look. First, let's take a look at the stacks, or the stack uh, view. 
And again, we rate the stats here both by raw points over here, where you get Colorado with the Toronto and Buffalo, Dallas. Value in the middle, Dallas, Buffalo again. And then by modified stack, which is a combination of value and, and raw points. So Dallas and Buffalo again. So Dallas and Buffalo look to be the top stacks. So let's uh, let's pull up a lineup actually. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Lineups. Do we have any NHL built yet? Let's see. Um, okay. All right. So let's first. I mean, I don't know. Who do you want to build first? You want to build Buffalo first? We'll build Buffalo first. So what do we say? Casey Middlestat. Dylan Cozens, Tage Thompson, Jeff Skinner, like those four, like really easily. Before I forget, let's put a goalie in. Um, and I just like to play the cheapest goalie. That rate's okay. Uh, George is probably too expensive at 8,200. Um, ooh, Ilya 79, 84. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of good cheap goalies here. Dan Vladar, okay, it's 7,200. All right, that could be something. Considering also, you probably get some leverage over Colorado. So you can see, I mean, you could play this pretty easily. Um, and you could probably even fill in with some of the Dallas guys. Like, I know, I remember that Dallas had a defense we want to play that uh, Heskinen, right? So if we play him along with another Dallas guy, which would be who? It'd be uh, – Well, we could play Robertson. Why not? Let's play the top top guy. And forty seven fifty a man. This becomes pretty easy. Play one cheapo and one other Dallas guy. So who's another Dallas guy? Just for the hell of it. Pavelski. So we play Pavelski here. And then some $3,700 defense. Very, very easy. Um, what you could do is just sort, I mean, like by point per dollar even. Uh, ooh, not a lot of great defensemen, cheap defensemen, by the way. It's sort of interesting. So what do we say, 3700 We don't quite have, but Byram, 38 Oh, there you go. Romanoff. Play him if you want. So congratulations, you just made a good lineup. Now this is probably pretty chalky. If I were able to build it this easily, then everybody could. But well, I may as well save it for now. Uh, the other thing I want to do, I want to try to build a Colorado stack just because it's expensive. I want to see if we can actually do it. So that would be McKinnon Rantanen, Nishushkin. So let's start with that. McKinnon, Rantanen, Nishushkin. Let's go back. Now we need another, we need a different goalie, right? Um, because we usually have, we used to have the, uh, the, the goalie that was against Colorado. So this is actually kind of hard. I mean, now you're at 36, 20 a man. So it is kind of difficult to get to Colorado. What you could do is play these Arizona guys like Zucker, 36, and then Schmaltz, 49. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, Schmaltz, 49. Zucker, 36. So it's not easy. It's really not easy to play Colorado. So I recommend probably some combination of Dallas and Buffalo for hand building. Now, as you'll see, when we use Sabersim, Sabersim is like a genius. Somehow it's going to manage to get you all these Colorados. God, know how, God knows how. But I think playing either Dallas or Buffalo is going to make a lot of sense. All right, so let's uh, go to Sabersim and see what we can dream up here. Uh, let's first upload the projections. Now I'm doing this uh, offsite. You could do this from TrueDFS if you're a TrueDFS subscriber. Ooh, these guys are out. Okay. 
And now let's just build. We'll build, say, 40 lineups. 50, no, 40 lineups. That's good enough. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at it in a couple of ways. We're going to look at it from um, uh, just regular Sabre score, and then we're going to look at it from by, after running contest sims. And see if, if, you, if running it in different ways comes up with different results and see if running them in different ways comes up with different results than if we had just hand built. And what does it say if, if all of the Sabre score lineups are Dallas Buffalo? What does it say if all the contest sim lineups are Dallas and Buffalo? Does that mean that they're good plays? Well, you would think that if you came up with Dallas and Buffalo on your own, and the Sabre score method got you a lot of Dallas Buffalo, then I would imagine that using a contest sims will get you different ones because it would probably try to be contrarian. So now here we go. So <laughs> somehow it gets to all these Colorados. God knows how it does it. Um, so when you look at the regular Sabre score builds, you'd be getting, well, you'd be getting all this Colorado, but you look at the stack exposure, you'd be getting all kinds of offbeat stacks, which is what I wouldn't want anyway, okay? Um, so what you could do is a couple of things. Number one, you can immediately go to contest sims, or you could start Xing out these, these kind of offbeat lineups. So three, two, twos, four, twos, three, twos. It's like amazing that there's very little in here that are your standard four threes and, and five twos and even, and even six oh onslaughts. So, I mean, when you do this, X them out, you're still getting all kinds of craziness. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm immediately going to go to the contest sims um, because running it with just a Sabre score is just getting way too funky with respect to the changes you have to make. And when you have to make too many changes, something is usually off. So let's um, let's uh, make sure we have our contest sim settings in. And we already did this earlier. We, we were in these contests, so what we did, I'm just going to show you. You can right-click within your contest and hit Add Contest Sim, and it will save the settings for you. Well, satellite I don't have yet. So then we can go back into our build here. We have everything saved, and let's just hit run contest sim. And now what it's doing is it's now taking these 50 lineups or 40 lineups or not even or four 5,000 lineups and not just picking the top 40 based on Sabre score, it's taking the top 40 rated by projected risk adjusted ROI based on the fact that Sabre sim has created this like pool of field lineups that you're going to be comparing these lineups to. And that's this new um, way of the world, the contest sims. And then the contest sims will continue to get better. Right now, they're very, very raw, but hey, it's better than nothing. So let's uh, rate these by kick save, risk adjusted ROI. That's my preferred method. And now you see you get some normal, more normal situations here. You know, first of all, as far as stack exposure, you're getting, look at this, four, three, four, twos. Um, you are getting a couple of, of, of randos, so we'll get rid of those. We'll keep, on a four-game slate, we'll keep the four two twos. I'm just curious to see what our team stacks are. Yeah, like 80% Dallas, and this makes some sense. Now, if you wanted, you could, you know, say, okay, I don't want that many, that much Dallas. And you'd be justified because in the pool exposure, you're only supposed to get 40. Um, but because you're kicking the top 40, you're getting a, you know, a higher concentration of it. Another thing you can do is if you don't want 80% of anybody, you could just then say min uniques more than one. And you see, usually what happens is it kind of gets you less of a certain team, but in this case, it really isn't. So that really doesn't help too much. Um, but I still want to do that anyway. Um, okay, so that's pretty much what I the end of what I probably do for my MME stuff, you know. So, uh, so what have we learned, right? So, so, so in this particular type of slate, 
the 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 contest sims they were able to get you more pure stacks and it really did kind of what it did was it essentially said that buffalo is probably going to be over owned right because it didn't mind so much that dallas looked good um but i think that the reason why i was getting up to only 20 percent buffalo is i think more you know too many people are going to have buffalo so getting overweight on dallas makes a little more sense so let's uh put that in here Boom. Let's take a look at the penalty kill, which is the big buy-in. And this is very similar to what I did before. Um, actually, this one looks pretty good. Actually, all these look pretty good. I don't like these with the with the one-off um, spend-up. You see McKinnon over there. I think this one looks a little bit better. Oh, this one looks pretty good, actually. Dallas with a couple of, again, that has, doesn't quite have what I want. If I were going to play McKinnon, I'd probably want to play him with Rantanen. I think something like this is maybe a little bit better. Okay, this looks good. All right, so let's, uh, let's use that one for now, for the penalty kill. And we're going to continue, listen, we're going to continue to, to update this throughout the day. Okay. Um, ooh, what is this? Why is this? Why do I have Perone in lineups if he's out? Oh, he's a zero projection? Hmm. Well, what you could do is for now, just take him out. Or replace him with Zucker, which you want anyway. That's all right. So we'll we'll download these for now. But that's pretty much all I do at this early juncture. And you know what? It's actually what I do towards the end also. But at the end, I make a, maybe a little, a few more tweaks. You know, I'll change a projection a little bit if some guy is like been added to the line or I can't, you know, change anything uh, right up until lock. But that's basically the process of how I use Sabersim to uh, to build my lineups and how it would apply to tonight's slate. Uh, six o'clock, we're going live. Maybe we'll go for some updated uh, line building. Um, but until then, good luck.